Today we are going to be talking about the 15 best academies in the world. Number 15, Paris Saint-Germain. I know what you are thinking, how did PSG make the list? Well, with players like Jansen Adlin, Mike Magen playing for AC Milan, Moussa Dabiabi, who also plays for Bayern Leverkusen, Sume playing for Leicester City, and their number one product, Presmel Kim Bepe, who PSG was able to spot before they could sell him. Number 14, ah yes, another top French club. Olympic, Leonard's Reserve and Academy. The French Giants also have a good history with youth graduates, but seeing as all of them were sued, just like Lacazette to Arsenal, Antonio Marshall to Monaco, who was then sold to Manchester United, Toliso to Bayern Munich, Nabi Fekia to Ribertis, Samuel Tutti to Barcelona, who was also considered one of the best centre backs in 2016. And last but not the least, Karim Benzema, one of the best attackers in the world, was sold to Real Madrid. Number 13, Borussia Dortmund. With the like of Felix Paslak, Jacob Bruns Lessian, Christian Pulisic to Chelsea, Mario Gomez, who scored the winning goal for the FIFA 2014 World Cup, and Marcos Reyes, who was also one of the few players Borussia Dortmund was able to retain. Even if the German team haven't won any trophy for the past few years, it doesn't seem to affect their ability to recognize young talent, just only if they could keep them. Well, everybody has a role to play. Number 12, we have Chelsea. Well, we can all understand how Chelsea got here with the likes of John Terry, Ryan Bertrand, Andres Christensen for some reason who has joined Barcelona, Nathan Akin who was sold to Bernamot, then later sold to Manchester City. And with the recent transfer bans which have been placed on Chelsea, it seems to have helped their youth development with the likes of Macy Mount, Rhys James, Callan Hossein Odoi, Tammy Abraham who was sold to ES Roma and is doing quite well. And finally, Declan Rice. Yeah, Declan Rice if you didn't hear me. Chelsea let the young lad go at a very young age. Then he went ahead to join the West Ham Academy and is proving to be quite an excellent player. Moving on. Number 11, we have Shakhtar 04. I'm sure you have not heard of Shakhtar 04 development system, but I'm very sure you have heard of its graduates. Max Mia, Julian Draxler, Manu Neuer, Ozil, and one of the current rising young star, Leroy Sani. Number 10, Santanti. As we are all aware of Santanti, they take pride in not just the development of their young footballers but their fine men also. With that, they also go ahead to represent them wherever they are sold to any club. Players who are graduates of Santanti are Mike Horn, Matthew Lee Tesla, Alan Shera, Theo Walcott, Alex Osili Chamberlain, Luke Shaw, Adam Allen, and a player who was once considered the most expensive player in the world, Gareth Bill. Number 9. Sporting Lisbon The Portuguese clubs in general have always had the tendency of producing quite a group of young talents, with the likes of João Mourinho, Luis Nani, Ricardo Quaresma, and one of the most aggressive, fiscally strong and tedious defenders Pepe, also Luis Figo who won the Ballon d'Or in the 2000s, and the pride of the academy itself, Cristiano Ronaldo. With the Portuguese success all round the years, no wonder is a 5-time Ballon d'Or winner and also the captain of Portugal. Number 8, AC Milan Primavera. With the previous success in which AC Milan has had by claiming the league title after previous years of fails. That hasn't stopped them from producing a group of talented young stars with the likes of Brian Christensen, who is playing for ES Roma, Damian who once played for Manchester United and is currently playing for Inter Milan, Singlo who is playing for Juventus, Abamyang who seems to have played for all top 5 leagues and let's not forget the icing on the cake, Pablo Mardini, one of the best defenders the world has ever seen. Number 7. AS Monaco Monaco has had one of the most successful youth academies in the world with the recent sales they've had in the transfer window, even with players who are both from the academy and not. But we are not here to talk about Monaco's success in the transfer window, but rather their youth graduates they produce throughout the years. With the likes of Thomas Lemar, Caresco, 
Sinibe, Bakayoko, and the recent 100 million transfer to Real Madrid, Chouameni, Pidisal, who has also seemed to capture the interest of multiple clubs, and last but not the least, Kylian Mbappe, the golden boy, who was also the second youngest player to ever play in the FIFA World Cup, the star of not just PSG but also France. Number 6. Befica With the recent transfer window going out of control, certainly this club is one of those responsible. With the sales of Victor Lindelof to Manchester United, Joao Felix to Atletico Madrid, Giancarlo Guedes to Valencia, Relanzo Sanchez to Lille, and the number one club who seems to be their best buyer, Manchester City. With the sales of Bernardo Silva, Ruben Diaz, Ederson, and Joao Cancelo all to Manchester City. At number 5 is Bayern Munich junior team. With another of the German giants topping the list with the likes of Thomas Muller, Schweiger, David Alaba, Philipp Lahm, Tony Cruz, Beckham Bohm, Matt Hummels, it's no wonder they are the top 5 of this list. At number 4 is Real Madrid La Fabrica. Real Madrid has been known to sign some of the best youths around the world, which led to their 14 Champions League title, but that doesn't mean they don't have youth graduates. With players like Samuel Eto, Joao Mata, Negredo, Marcos Alonso, Daniel Cavajal, Morata, and with the legends like Raul, Casillac, and also Guts, it shows that La Fabrica is doing a fine job he did. At number 3 is Manchester United Academy. Ah yes, the Red Devils. With the recent developments going on, after multiple terrible decisions made with signing of players, the club has decided to use youths once more with the likes of Marcus Rashford, Mason Greywood, Scott McTominay, Anthony Langard, Paul Kuba, who was once a player of the Red Devils, but went to Juventus, only just to come back, then left back to Juventus. I'm sure you know how the story goes. But enough about that, it's time to talk about the true prodigies, that is, class of 92 which consists of David Beckham, Ryan Giggs, Paul Schools, Nicky Botts, Phil Neville and Gary Neville, which have so far been the best group of youths produced by Manchester United till date. At number 2 is Barcelona La Masia. With the second half of a Classico taking second on this list, with both the recent and past graduates who have also been drilled with the Barcelona way of playing, it's no surprise they go ahead to produce the likes of Andres Iniesta, Xavi, Puyol, Pedro, Victor Vades, Gerard Pique, Sergio Busquets, the Ancatera brothers, Enio Messi, who is a five-time Ballon d'Or winner and also the pride of La Masia, and let's not forget the future of Barcelona itself, Pedri, Ansufati, Gavi, Nico Gonzalez, and Joel Blade. At number 1 is Ajax Youth Academy. As with all weakness, with the recent transfer windows going on, revolving around Ajax, it's no reason why more and more graduates keep popping out. With the likes of Ryan Gavrebel, Martinez Delit, Donny Van de Beek, Sergi Nodes, Anwo El Gazil, Daniel Malin. As we've seen, Ajax has been without a doubt one of the best youth academies in the world. Even in the past, they've always had a way of leaving a landmark with legends like Joan Cruyff, Patrick Clevelet, Clarence Seedorf, Dennis Beckham, Frankie Debo, and Wellesley Sneshida. Let me know if there are any clubs that should be on this list. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.